Okay, so this whole fake leather in the Chanel bag thing has blown right up. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Tanner Leatherstein released a video where he deconstructed a vintage Chanel timeless tote that was sent in to him, and it was one that was authenticated using entropy. And what he thought was going to be a goat leather lining interior turned out to be a fake leather interior. Chanel put in a pleather interior. So this has become a hot topic. Now, if you haven't already seen part one of this series, pause this video here and either click up here or click down in the description box, catch up on part one and then come back and we can talk about it some more. Okay, so now let's continue. Lots of people have made videos on this topic already. So Jessie Style put out a video on it. Shout out to Jessie Style. She just reached her 10K sub milestone. I watch her videos. And Kate Swan made a video about it. Shout out to Kate Swan. I also watched her videos. And I'll link both their videos in the description box down below. So what got me thinking was I got a comment under video part one from Candy. Now, Candy says, FYI, the Louis Vuitton St. Cloud behind you is probably the same, but only in the outside back pocket and the inside zip pocket. It peels over time and with age. This is a really good point Candy brought up. Are we being luxury hypocrites? We know a lot of these vintage Louis Vuitton bags, so this is the St. Cloud just talking about my background. A lot of them have a vinyl lining in the pockets. Pleather, Vitinet, vinyl, a couple of people use these different terms. This often occurs in the vintage bags, in the back pockets, and in the interior pockets. Now, mine have been cleaned out already, but we vintage LV lovers know this. We accept this. We even buy bags with this condition where the vinyl, vitonite, whatever you want to call it, has been degraded. It's tarry, it's sticky, or it's dry peeling. And we don't care, we still buy it. It's even called junk condition on the ads. I even have a tutorial about how to clean them out. So why are we okay with Louis Vuitton doing it, but then we're all getting our knickers in a knot with Chanel using pleather? Are we being luxury hypocrites? I bought so many bags from vintage Louis Vuitton. This is my St. Cloud Jam. I bought it cleaned out already, so luckily I didn't have to do it myself, but I was fine with it, no problem. I didn't have a problem with it being pleather. I had to clean it out myself on this Bordeaux GM. That was very messy, but I was happy to do it, and I was happy to buy it like that. Same thing with my Sack Friedland. This is even the bag I used to make the tutorial about. Even my Posh at Home. This one had the dry peeling, and I had to clean it out. So why are we okay with Louis Vuitton and not okay with Chanel? Let's think about this some more. Is it because of the price point? I paid far less for these vintage Louis Vuittons than I did for my vintage Chanel's. So definitely probably price point is related as a factor as to why we're reacting so strongly to Chanel using pleather than Louis Vuitton using pleather. I mean, in general, the Chanel price point back for the vintage bags and even for the modern bags are much higher than the Louis Vuitton price point. I mean, heck, we're getting up to Hermes price points with Chanel now. So maybe it's because of the price point that we're expecting more from the brand. Or maybe we've just built up this false narratives within the luxury community. We've put Chanel up on this pedestal and we're looking at it and we're looking up at it with admiration. We're looking at it like, oh, this is just the creme de la creme of luxury handbags. Maybe it's just this false narrative that we've created ourselves and tricked ourselves into. Maybe we've just led ourselves down the garden path. So tell me what you think. Maybe we shouldn't put these luxury brands on such a pedestal to begin with. That way, we're not so disappointed when we find out they don't use the quality of material that we're expecting. I mean, really, if we're after quality leather, maybe we should be buying from quality leather artisanal brands that focus on just that, the quality leather, instead of buying these brand name luxury designer houses that just go off the name as the prestige rather than the materials they use. Let's talk about this in the comments down below. Let's start the discussion. Why are we being so hypocritical? We're okay with LV doing it, but we're not okay with Chanel doing it. Let's talk.